Hi guys, um, I'm doing this video to show you all how to um, restore your computer using the Acronis boot up disk. Um, I had a request to do a video the other day, so I'm now doing one now. Um, sorry if it does shake, but um, I haven't got a proper camera to do this video and um, I haven't got a screen recorder which is capable of doing the restore because you have to do it outside of Windows um, by making a bootable disk uh, using the Acronis software. Um, you can put the disk in before um, you restart Windows if you're using a quick boot up sequence using F11 or F12 on your computer. But uh, if you go into the BIOS the way I do it, I would suggest to wait and put the disk in um, afterwards. Now, as you can see, my computer is functioning properly at the moment and all the icons are there. I will now go ahead and do a system restore and show you exactly what happens. So first of all you want to restart your machine and then it's up to you if you go into the BIOS or not to boot off your system but that's the way I'm doing it. Right, so I'm just waiting now for it to go into the BIOS. Now here is the BIOS information and as you can see I use ASUS um, BIOS. Now what you want to do is um, if you want to boot off the disk in here, you go down to advanced mode and click that and then just click OK. When you come onto this screen here, go on to boot, scroll down until you get to boot override and highlight the uh, drive which is your one. In my case it's a Pioneer Blu-ray drive. Uh, now put in the disc which I'm about to do myself. Once the uh, light has gone out on your drive, click on the Pioneer boot uh, override drive or whatever drive your um, disk drive is. As you can now see on the screen, it says starting a Cronus loader. Right, when you get this interface here, that one does exactly what it says. Um, it will start Windows back up if you decide not to go ahead with the restore. This one will create um, an Acronis system report. And this is the one you want, the Acronis True Image 2015. So you click on that once and you will see this screen here. Now what this is doing is loading all the information needed off the disk in order to uh, do the system restore. So this can take up to two minutes to um, load. So do bear with it.
As you can see now, it's saying Acronis loading, please wait. And the short information you see is just your hard drives. It's scanning what drives you've got. Now, when you see this interface here, um, you don't have to use any of the options down the left-hand side because it will blank the drive for you. Um, a recovery will take longer on a standard hard drive, but if you're using an SSD drive, which I'm using, it will be done in about 10 minutes. Um, so in here you can back up your drives the same way as you can with the software on Windows. Um, but this is the section you want to recover your hard drive. So all you do is click on my disks under recover and you'll see this screen here and now you've got to browse to your backup file. Now one thing you will notice is the drive letters are completely different to what they are in Windows so it's just a case of navigating to navigating through your different hard drives to find where your backup file is uh, I know mine's always under G so I'll just double click on that and then, I'll, and then I've named the folder Windows Backup so I'll double click on that and there's the file now I've only got one file in there at the moment because I've only done one backup with a Cronus but if I've got multiple, I always go for the latest one. The reason why is because a Cronus backs up your system on a regular basis. Now, don't worry if you do select the smaller file. If any information is needed from the bigger file, a Cronus restore will automatically receive, retrieve the files from the bigger file so don't worry about that so just click on the one you want to use and click OK as you can see now it's in there ready to be used so all you do is click on next right and now you will see two options on the screen recover whole disks and partitions or recover chosen files and folders. Now I always go for the top option because it completely blanks your drive and restores your system back to the way it was previously. So I click on that one and then click next. On this screen here it will show you all your drives which you've got backed up. Um, I've got the C drive backed up which contains uh, Windows and my programs and then I've got my F drive backed up which basically contains my games and my music. So I only want to restore the C drive. So, so you're just ticking bot, uh, disk 1 next to there and it will automatically as you can see put three ticks in these three here which are which are uh, needed for uh, windows to fully restore to working condition i'm just rechecking this uh, myself now so i will go quiet for a moment Right, there we go. So I'm now ready to proceed um, to recovering my system because all my uh, all my partitions are selected. So all you do is go down and click on next. It will then scan your image which you've loaded into the Acronis Restore. Right, 
Now on this screen you need to choose your hard drive where you want the operating system to be restored to. Um, in my case I know which drive it is uh, straight away because I've only got one SSD drive in my system, the rest are normal hard drives. So I just click on Samsung SSD and click next. You will then get a message come up on the screen saying that the hard drive contains uh, data. Um, so you click OK and it will automatically delete the data which is on the drive. It will then give you a rundown summary of all the uh, hard drive sizes. And you don't really need to read it. So all you do is click proceed and click in the top box, restart the machine when the setup is finished. Um, and that's all there is to it. Now um, this will take about 8 minutes uh, at the moment it's saying to restore the system. So I'll pause the video and I'll resume it towards the end. Hi guys, well as you can see now, um, the restore has almost finished, I've got about 40 seconds left and the system will automatically uh, restart when it's finished. Um, you will get a little message come up in a minute where you can click restart yourself but um, I do suggest you wait for the software to restart on its own. As you can see now, the little box has just come up, so the uh, restore is finished. Um, and like I said before, just wait for it to restart on its own. Okay, and as you can see, my system is now uh, rebooting. Um, before logging in though, uh, do make sure after the restore that your computer light has stopped flashing because when you go into Windows it will take a few minutes for your system to um, get back to normal um, just because it has to try and um, sync everything again. As you can see, I'm logging in now and you will see that all your icons at first are white. But uh, like I said, you do have to give the uh, computer a minute or two uh, just while it uh, loads everything back. Um, but all the icons will change from white back to their original icons as you can uh, see what's happening on my screen now. Okay, um, I hope this video has uh, helped you all and as you can see all my icons have come back now. Um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up to help my channel and uh, do subscribe to me for more videos and check all my other ones. Um, like I said as well I am doing a video on the best um, 
set up to um, back up your system correctly with a Cronus so do check that video out because that is also on my channel all right thank you for watching bye